Van Gogh had Arles, Canaletto had Venice. I can't think of any other examples, but the point is certain artists associate themselves with certain places. In the case of Katie Solohub, it's Shoreham. So, uh, Shoreham. What's the big deal about Shoreham? Probably the light, actually, as all artists say. But I came from Brighton in a basement. So I spent 13 years living in a basement and then I moved to Shoreham. This was the only house I looked at, walked in, loved it, bought it. My recent work has always started with my immediate surroundings. So whether it's looking out the window at Shoreham at the view or whether it's the objects in my studio, anything that is just right in front of me, sometimes my own self-portrait. Um, more recently, I've allowed myself to, to work more from memory, which involves a little bit of imagination, a little bit of play with where you put things, rather than just the things in front of me. OK, this one is my first painting from memory, entirely from memory, no sketches, no photographs. After a, a trip to France, staying in an oak forest in a treehouse. Heavily pregnant, very intense experience. So I was awakened every morning to brilliant green light. So I did a painting that was all about green, none of my usual reds. This is from the garden of my basement flat in Brighton. Looking one way, you see the eucalyptus tree that I planted at the end of the garden. Looking the other way, you see my basement window. You wouldn't, in fact, be able to get that view all in one go. I had a massive easel and canvas in the middle of the garden, so I just painted what I saw to my left, what I saw to my right, compiled it into this view. So there's a slight Russian thing going on here. Yes, yeah, this is um, well inspired, as you can see, self-portrait as a Russian doll, inspired by uh, the Russian doll that I have from childhood. Mm -hmm. My grandmother was Russian, my father was born in Russia, so there's definitely an influence there. It's actually part of a previous drawing of mine from about 10 or 15 years ago when I first read my grandmother's memoirs, which have now just been published just last year, about her escape from Russia in the revolution. And I did a drawing about the journey, about her journey and my journey, and the fact that we would never meet because she died before I was born. Kind of uh, referencing a little bit to the Russian icons as well, mm -hmm. and using the Russian doll as a symbol for stories within stories. Would it be fair to say that in the art establishment there is or there has been a prejudice in recent years against painting? Yes. I would say. I don't know whether prejudice is the right word, but certainly um, uh, a sort of anxiety if you are painting. And in fact, I stopped painting for five years because of that. And I went back to college and I did anything but painting because to me, painting didn't answer the questions that I was asking myself. But five years of other exploration and quite a lot of angst brought me back to painting and I and the joy was I realised it does. It mm -hmm. answers all those questions. So I did a lot of work about myself and about stories and time. And I realised that the process of painting, the process of looking at things and spending time with those things is what it was all about. And suddenly I was sort of home again and I could paint. <laughs>